today we'll be adding a skin to our Minecraft rig that we started in the last video. So let's get started really quickly today. What you're going to want to do uh, first and foremost is go up to File, User Preferences, and make sure that in System, you uncheck MIP Maps. That is very important or else you have a very blurry, uh, a very blurry skin here. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually find where we put our Minecraft skin. You can use the same exact skin you actually use in game, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find that really quickly. Go to Textures and then we hit New. And then we'll hit open and we'll find where we put our actual texture. All right, so I've opened up my skin, but now you, as you can tell, if we go to textured mode, you cannot see it on the texture. That's because we did not unwrap anything yet. But before we do that, we're going to select every single piece of this body and we're going to go at uh, object apply scale because we have to do this around. So when we do a bit of rigging, uh, it will be really, really difficult and weird. So object uh, apply scale object apply scale and we're gonna do this over and over again until we have all the different pieces so there we go now we're fully ready to start the uh, the unwrapping so we're gonna tab into one of the pieces of our skin here we're gonna hit uh, U, smart UV project or project project and we're gonna do that for every single one of these so we're gonna double tap a to select everything and then smart UV project and double tap a Smart UV project. It's a lot of the same through through doing a lot of these processes. It's a lot of the same thing with do over and over again. Double tap A, U, Smart UV project, and OK. Uh, tab, double tap A, Smart UV project, and OK. We're going to drag this little triangle piece up here. Oop, no, not that way. We're going to drag it up right like that and split our window. And tab out of edit mode. And we're going to go to the UV image editor. This is where we're going to choose our Minecraft skin right there so now as you can tell if I grab the head here and uh, and, and and hit control and hit tab on that and we open up our Minecraft skin if I go to textured you'll be able to tell that you can now see the skin on there and it's not blurry which is what the mip map did before which is really really nice so if I go back and I put mip map on you can tell how blurry and disgusting that is but we uncheck it you can see we see all those nice glorious pixels so we're going to tab into our edit mode and we're going to hit uh, A and we're just going to scale this down until we can get it to where the actual face, where the face is. This might be a bit difficult since we did do a bit of uh, subdividing to the to the head. You might be, you might have to move this around a little bit to 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 get it to where you need it to be. But you can also turn on uh, on magnetic mode there and you can just uh, scroll that around. Let's un let's control Z all those and make sure. Uh, Make sure the lock is on, and then we can scale this down and move this around where we need it to be. Uh, scale down something like that. As you can tell, the eyes are upside down, and the entire face is really so. Might want to mess around with this a little bit. Uncheck that that uh, that uh, magnet, and just, just rotate it around a little bit. Maybe flip it around uh, 180 to get the face the right way. See if we can find where this is supposed to be. There you go. There's the face. Looks like it's these four, uh, these four vertices, these four uh, faces right here. So we can kind of mess around with those four. Just hitting uh, scale and X. You can't actually scale on the Z axis. You can only scale on uh, Y, uh, on X and Y. So something like that. So now we have the face done. We need to go around and find where everything else needs to be. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into tab mode and I'm going to select I'm going to select all all the faces on one side and then we're going to go on over to tool actually we're going to hit uh, we're going to uh, blah, blah, blah. we're going to delete those those uh, vertices and then we're going to select the entire inside and hit face and then add that face back in. It looks weird for now but we can always fix that in a second. We're going to select all those faces, delete the faces. Select the edges and hit face, F for face, by the way. Select all those, holding down shift, delete, faces, hit edges, uh, alt shift to select the entire loop and then hit F for face. And then same thing on this side over here. Since we only needed the the, the bottom to be subdivided, I, I meant to do this in the last video, but I didn't. So do the same thing again. Make sure all those edges are selected. F for face. 
and I think that looks good the top side and now since everything looks all weird and jumbled up we're going to hit U smart UV project again and do that again so now it's a bit easier to see where the cubes actually land uh, so we can skin this a bit easier so we're gonna scale that down move it around a bit this is obviously the face plane right here it's a lot of just moving around and seeing where everything goes uh, so I'm gonna move that around and we're actually going I'm actually gonna select this this uh, this face right here and we're gonna hit R X 180 to rotate that 180 degrees so now our face is perfectly perfect all right so make sure all those edges look good and we will do the same thing with all of these over here uh, so this looks like the face that is in the back yeah so we're gonna we're gonna flip this guy over here all right so we're gonna head over to face select mode so we can now move these all separately so move these just these uh, different squares around separately and we're going to select this back piece because this is the back of my head here and then we're going to just rotate that 180 to flip it the right way around um, and we're going to find out, figure out which one this is it's the top so that's going to go up on, up on the top right there and move that around a bit I'm not going to get this perfect for this tutorial, but you can tell that, you know, the edges should be should be definitely lined up and all perfect like that. And as you can tell, now we have our entire, that's not rotated the right way. So you always want to go around and see what is all messed up. So we're going to rotate that 180 degrees, uh, not 190 uh, right there. So boom. Now, you, as you can tell, my head is now perfect. Um, if I hit H on the body, you can see that that is lined up perfectly well. We have a little bit of a seam here, so I'm going to try and fix that, see where that's coming from. Uh, ba -ba 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 move that around until that seam is gone because that's pretty annoying and there's one on, there's one over here but I'm not going to go around and fix all of those right now but you make sure you get rid of all those seams when you can and where you can so now we're going to do the same thing with the body and the arms and the legs all right now that we have our one arm uh, done I'm actually going to delete this arm and we're just going to duplicate this and uh, rotate it on over so we can go uh, scale instead of rotating it on the on the z axis as you can tell it's it, it it's not the same exact thing so we're gonna hit z uh, uh gonna s to scale and then uh, x and then we'll hit one negative uh so now it, it it pretty much just flipped it mirrored it um and then we'll hit the location of negative one to flip it onto the right side so that's a very easy way of just fixing that problem instead of having to do it again and now since the leg is done, we can do the same thing we did with the arms. Delete that leg and duplicate. And we just uh, hit negative on that X location just right there. So now we're done with our actual skinning of our Minecraft character. This has been the second part of the Minecraft rig tutorial. In the next episode, we're going to be uh, actually rigging this guy. And then the next one after that, we're going to be adding in the face rig. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.